Hey guys, today we'll be making an adorable candy holder centerpiece. What you will need, I have Chanel stems, a wreath ring, which is about 8 inches. It's a smaller one, two in a pack at Dollar Tree. I have silver and white deco mesh. And then I have silver and white ribbon. The ribbon is 5 eighths inches in width. Also scissors or a rotary cutter. Alright, let's get started. So the first thing you're going to do is take your deco mesh and cut it into 8 inch long pieces. I'm also going to take my ribbon and cut it into 8 inch long pieces. And then I'm going to make my bundles. And I decided for each bundle I want 2 pieces of white deco mesh and 1 piece of silver deco mesh. You will also need a Chanel stem. So I'm actually going to alternate which bundles I place the ribbon on. I'm going to Kind of go ribbon, no ribbon, ribbon, no ribbon. And I'm just curling each piece of deco mesh at a diagonal. I do curl at a, you know, cute little curl sometimes. So it just depends on how I'm feeling. You can do either way. First bundle is only going to have deco mesh. And then the next bundle, it will have deco mesh and the silver and white ribbon. You can modify it. You can add ribbon to all of them. You can leave the ribbon off altogether. It's completely up to you. So once you have all of your pieces exactly the way you want them, scrunch them all together. Take your half of a Chanel stem, and I actually did cut these Chanel stems in half. And you're going to just twist it around your deco mesh, nice and tight. And then you can maneuver and adjust it, and it looks so cute and precious. So I'm going to make another one, and this next bundle is going to include the ribbon. So I have the silver ribbon here, and then my next bundle I will have the white ribbon. So I'm just alternating it that way. But again, whichever way you prefer. have all of my bundles here again I like to get all of them together before I start placing them because I feel like it makes the process go by so much faster so now I'm going to take my wreath ring and you can place the bundles on the inner two rings or the outer two rings I actually prefer to alternate inner two outer two inner two outer two but whichever way you prefer so I'm going to start on the outer two rings and I'm going to twist my Chanel stem around the outer two and then tuck it away just like that and then I'm going to take my next bundle so the first bundle I used did not have any ribbon this next one has silver ribbon and I'm going to go to the inner two rings and just twist 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 and tuck it away so I'm alternating inner two outer two but I'm also alternating ribbon no ribbon and I'm going to do this all the way around my ring I made a total of 18 bundles and I'm going to have six bundles in each of my three sections. If you want a poofier candy holder, then you can add more. Just go with whatever you prefer. So this is what one section looks like, so cute and poofy, and this is only six pieces of deco mesh. And this is what the back looks like. Alright, I'm going to get the other two completed and show you what it's looking like. we are all done it looks so cute and poofy if you have a wider bowl you can definitely only use the outer ring but I like to have the option of doing something skinny and something wider so that's why I alternate but if you know for sure you're going to need more space then only use the outer ring so I'm just adjusting everything making sure that it looks really cute and adorable and this is what the back looks like so I actually decided to use this cute little jar from Dollar Tree and silver Hershey's Kisses 
because I just thought that would look so precious. So a trick I like to do is take some packing paper or any type of rough paper, you can even use newspaper, and put it in the bottom of my jar. And then I'll take my candy and just put it on the top and make sure I cover up all of the paper. And now it looks like a full candy jar without having that much candy. So that's a nice little trick. You can add in different color candy to match whatever color you go with. So if you want to do red, white, and green, you can definitely do that. So just have fun with it and make it your own. But it's so simple, easy to do, and it looks so cute and precious. All items were purchased at Dollar Tree.